it's normal when you you know you win the premiership or the grand final you're the hunted team but i think uh you know at sydney fc we've always felt that way i think even from when i was playing in the first season to to right to now the players just get used to it they, they're used to the used to the pressure that the club puts them under to win trophies and and you know i think they thrive on that pressure so um, this year is going to be no different sydney fc set another new benchmark the motivation for us is to do it three years in a row because no other team in the a-league history has ever done three grand finals in a row so that's our motivation for this year but normally it's like any year even after you win one you know that's pushed a little pushed aside a little bit and then you just start focusing on the on the new season every you know at sydney fc we we want to win trophies and every year we go into the season trying to win every trophy it's always great to see a young boy come through. We've had a couple, obviously, in the ACL with Callum Ewanoff. Uh, Trent Bahaja also has got the opportunity because the Fonda has gone. And uh, it's about guiding them and, and leading them, you know, and showing and leading by example. That's what our senior boys do. And, and, you know, we want that to continue at the club. You know, we talk about systems and what system we play. It's not so much about that. It's about the quality of the squad that we have, the depth in the squad that we have to go out there and, and perform. Tactics are obviously very important as well, but it comes down to the individual at the end of the day. The most important thing for obviously a professional setup, we, we make sure we get the right people in as, as in good people that want to play and want to win. And then I think you just try and get the best players in as well. If you can get both of them right, I think you've got a very good chance of, of uh, winning it at any level. Thank you.